back. We're here with Nikki Rob, the program manager with Missoula Gives. And you guys are also with the uh, Missoula, uh, what's that called? The Community Foundation. Foundation. Yes. yes. <laughs> MCF for short, um, if you like acronyms. And nonprofits are not short of acronyms and not short of money because they're always looking for uh, money. And Missoula Gives is one of the big staples of the Missoula Community Foundation. So tell us a little bit more about Missoula Gives. So Missoula Gives is a 27 hour online and in-person giving event. So uh, this is our, our sixth year doing this. So what we do is we work to get as many nonprofits from both Missoula County and Ravalli County signed up. This year we've got about 165 nonprofits. So that's pretty exciting. And they'll all be on the same 27 hours working together to raise funds for their organization, whether it's a cause or a program or operating funds, whatever that might be. And so uh, Ravalli County, um, you guys, uh, um, they were kind of in it last year, but this year they're all in. Yes, yes. So we asked uh, the Ravalli County folks to join us. Uh, the way we see it, they are our neighbors and we should all be working together. You know, this is, um, we're, a, we're a large state, but with not a lot of people. So the more we can work together, the more impactful we'll be for our community. So we considered them our neighbors and said, come on in and join us. And this year they're doing great. We've got events happening in Hamilton. We have events happening in Stevensville. So there's a lot going on this week. Nice. So, um, how many uh, nonprofits are um, involved with Missoula Gives this year? So this year we have 165, and our goal is for 3,000 local Montanans to get together and raise a half a million dollars for our participating nonprofits. So I feel like we can do it. Last year we raised $420,000, so from about 2,800 donors. So I think this year we can hit that half a million mark. Okay. So, uh, oh, wrong button. All right. <laughs> So the website, if you go to MissoulaGives.org, it is a wonderful resource for donating to your favorite nonprofit here in the city of Missoula. There are many nonprofits, uh, one of which is MCT. You know, MCT is a big staple, but it, most people don't even know it's a nonprofit here in town. But it's one of many nonprofits that have been working really hard with your organization and trying to get the word out, try to raise some money, and yep. it's just a good opportunity for them to kind of have a catalyst to help them get money. Yeah, the way we, our role as the community foundation is this, is we supply this platform. And we think this platform is really great because it helps several ways. One, it's a more cost effective way for nonprofits to raise money instead of having like a large gala event. Two, um, it really educates people about how to do online fundraising. And we think that online fundraising is gonna be the wave of the future. So this has been a really educational tool. There's a lot of resources on the website for the nonprofits so that they can run a successful campaign. We also feel that this is a great way to um, educate board members, staff, other people about how to fundraise. So it's really a capacity building tool for all of these nonprofits. So nice. Yeah. So it, it, the, what is your kickoff event? So we got a lot of events coming up and the actual giving day kicks off tomorrow, Thursday, May 2nd at 5 p.m. at Plonk. We have a great kickoff party there. Anyone with at least a minimum donation of $10 can come down and get a free GFC cocktail. So big thanks to Plonk for that. Uh, that's a great event, so if you're out and about, it's going to be beautiful. I'll stop by Plonk sometime between 5 and 8 tomorrow, get yourself a free cocktail, make a donation, and join in the fun. Cool. And then Friday, we have a ton of events. Nice. So Friday is the, the main giving day. Uh, we'll kick off the morning at the Art Park, and we're going to have coffee and donuts for donors. So if you've made a donation, come on down and get yourself a free Krispy Kreme donut and a cup of coffee. Uh, so we'll be there from 9 to noon. Um, we will also be on campus both Thursday and Friday from 11 to 2. Uh, we'll be out there with Big Polly the Pollinator, our mascot. She'll be taking photos and, and educating people in our community about donating. And then Friday, we're also going to be at the Good Food Store from 11 to 2. So come on down there and make a donation. <clears throat> Anyone that makes a donation there gets entered into a good raffle package that the folks at the Good Food Store have put together for us. And then we'll be at the Old Post, another place that a lot of people don't know is a nonprofit. They're actually an American Legion oh. post, so they raise money to help local veterans. So they're a great, great group, and they've, uh, they've partnered with us to kind of be our headquarters for the day. So we'll be there all day um, outside just kind of, you know, spreading the word. And then during First Friday, they've got a parking lot party. So nice. we'll be celebrating with them. There's going to be, you know, 30 plus nonprofits downtown tabling. So it's going to be a great educational piece. Come on down to First Friday and learn about some of our great um, nonprofits in town and help help these guys by making a donation at MissoulaGives.org. Yep. Speaking of MissoulaGives.org, this is a website where you can find all this information that you just heard today, where the events are being held, 
who you can donate to, how you can donate to people as well. Yep. But also, uh, I remember the last couple of years you guys had a couple uh, stops where people can donate at places. So yep. uh, there's a couple hubs. Mm -hmm. Do you want to uh, mention any of the couple hubs that people could go to to donate? Yeah, so the hubs, the in-person places to donate again are Thursday at the uh, Plonk from 5 to 8. Uh, we'll be taking donations on campus. And then the art park from 9 to noon on Friday, the good food store from 11.30 to 2 on Friday, and then all day at the Old Post we'll be taking donations. And then during First Friday with all these nonprofits down there, if you meet a nonprofit that you like what they're doing and they've, you know, they've been really inf informational, you can go onto your, just log onto your phone, missoulagives.org, click that yellow donate button right in the center or up in the top. You can search them and find the organization you're looking for. But I'm sure that there's a lot of a lot of different nonprofits in there that have affected your life in one way or another. So minimum donation of five dollars to donate. So you can donate to ten different organizations at five dollars a pop if you wanted to. Nice. Yeah. So get out there, check out that website. There's a ton of great nonprofits on there. You can see the list of all the participants. You can search by cause. So if you you know if you're really into youth organizations or you're really into animals or environment, you can search that and see all the groups that are related to that. Maybe you are looking for a specific nonprofit like MCT or the Old Post or Animeals, and you can just search them. They'll pop right up. So it's nice. really easy to make a donation. Everyone gets their own page. You can find out a little bit about what they're raising funds for and what it is they do for our community. So. Yes. Awesome. Well, you guys are doing a really good job. And let's hope that they raise half a million dollars. I think they can do it. We can do it. Yeah. Log on to MissoulaGives.org and help us raise a half a million for our communities. All right. Thanks, Nikki. Thanks.